in regards to the IMGA combine training program, the athletes come in, HSS physical therapists start with an assessment with them. They determine any areas of weakness, areas that can be improved, if there's any injuries, areas that need rehabilitation. We set the agenda in terms of the overall program that the individual will be executing during the pre-combine training program. It's an intense seven or eight weeks that these guys spend here. You know, most of these guys are coming off bowl games, so they've played a game anywhere from a day to a week prior to coming to IMG. They've just played a, a long season, and a lot of those players have a little bit of injuries that we need to take care of. For the combine, we serve as sort of the initial triage for most of the football players coming in. So we perform a functional movement screen and then a head-to-toe evaluation. With that, we try to nitpick if there's anything that we can find to improve upon, if there is a current injury, anything that we need to address. Most cases, there's not a whole lot we need to address. We can then give recommendations for small fixes to the strength and conditioning staff or to the athletic training staff. I think the biggest thing that I learned about was hip flexibility and how important it was to be able to move my hips in certain ways, things, different stretches and different movements that I never even thought of that I realized I needed to be able to do on the field. It's all about improvements. When you look at the combine players, it's so detailed what the coaching staff does here that turning a quarter of a turn in one direction may mean the difference of losing a tenth of a second. When you talk about uh, performance-based athletes such as the combine players, a tenth of a second may mean the difference between going in the second round to the first round or the second round to the fourth round.